hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to the long-awaited skincare routine video okay I'm finally doing this in-depth skincare routine that a lot of you guys have been asking like literally I get asked every day on a day-to-day -day basis what my skincare routine is how I maintain my skin how I get so clear skin first of all guys my skin is not perfect I just want to put that out there like, I still have like um, marks from the previous pimples I still have hyperpigmentation I still have blackheads and pores so what you see on the picture is not everything but I do think that my skin is doing quite well at the moment none of you guys if you guys do an evil eye on me you'll catch hands okay don't don't get jealous of my skin please so yeah i mean to be honest guys i've never really struggled with like severe acne thank god please 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 just touch wood touch wood touch wood that i will never have to struggle with that i've never really had like a lot of acne troubles or like a lot of skincare problems I've never had that I started um, skincare at a quite young age I guess around 13 or 14 that's when I really started taking care of my skin seriously that's when I started building a skincare routine but obviously the skincare routine I had back then is way less elevated than the one that I have right now okay I'm so sorry guys for the lightning it just changed right now because I'm using the natural light. But yeah, I do believe that my skincare game has been top notch the past few years because I started using Korean skincare. Like I stopped using all those westernized skincare and I started using Korean skincare. And even when I was using the western skincare, I feel like my skin was okay, but it was not elevated like this. It was not glowy and shiny and like perfect like this, which is not. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my AM routine, PM routine, and also my weekly skincare routine. What I do to maintain um, the skin that I have because I do invest, I have invested a lot in my skincare routine that I have right now. And I do feel like it has paid off and it will be paying off in the long term as well. And guys, before, like, I used to be very insecure about my bare, bare face, at least, before I started doing YouTube. Now, the whole world has seen my bare face, you know what I mean? So I don't really care anymore, but before, I never used to leave my house without makeup. I mean, till recently, I never used to use leave my house without makeup. But these days, also because of you guys, the comments that I'm getting, that I look really good without makeup, it's like... It's really nice to hear and I'm trying to embrace my natural self or like I'm trying to embrace my natural beauty because that's what I want little girls looking up to like they should feel good in their own skin they should feel good the way they look you don't have to change anything that's what I want that's what I want to put out there you know I have a little sister and I'll have a daughter in the future God willing inshallah please <laughs> I will have a god in uh, I will have a daughter in the future so I do want them to look up to me and think that mm, she's embracing her natural self so that's why I am going to embrace my natural self but I'm not going to lie guys a bad skin can really affect your self esteem a lot a lot a lot and I know that but okay enough rambling let's get into my weekly skincare routine first of all so I am going to do a voiceover and I'm going to be showing you guys what I do on a weekly basis and also at the same time my AM routine first thing I do every day in the morning is cleanse my face with this um, Dogdo cleanser I've been uh, using this for quite a while now uh, I guess a month and I really enjoy it I feel like it doesn't strip down my skin it leaves my skin still feeling like not too tight but it does make me feel clear like it makes my skin feel clear if you know what I mean but yeah I just massage that to my face in the morning and I wash my face with cold water to deep off my face at the same time
Now I'm quickly jumping into my weekly routine because this was in the morning. It was, this was on my day off by the way. So this was in the morning. I'm jumping into my uh, weekly skincare routine. As you guys can see, I am using the Ducto Mud Mask from Round Lab. By the way guys, I will list everything down below where I got it. I get most of my skincare routine from Little Wonderland. Uh, but yeah, I will link them all down below so you guys can have like a specific uh, idea of which specific, which specific product I use. But yeah, the Mud Mask I only do like once a week. So... I just apply it and leave it for about 10 to 20 minutes depends on what I'm doing and what mood I am in okay after the mud mask and after I've washed it off I am now going to be steaming my face with the steamer that I got I think a few years back from my mother she gifted this to me for Christmas and I still have it. It's actually giving up on me guys. I need a new steamer, <laughs> not gonna lie. It doesn't work that well anymore. So I'm definitely going to be investing in a new one and a better quality one. This was okay for my first one, but I need a elevated version of this steamer. But yeah, I just steam my face for about five minutes, I guess, uh, to open up all my pores. There I am upset about my... <laughs> pimple and that it left a scar guys i can't stay away from my pimple by the way if i see one i need to pop it i know it's really bad don't listen to me on this one i know it's really bad but i really like popping my pimples i just really do <laughs> after that i take my trustworthy um how do we say it is this a pimple popper or i don't know this is from the body shop by the way that i bought like I think six years ago or seven years ago it's been really long it has been with me through it all it has been with me through my breakup my relationship everything but yeah I basically get that and squeeze all my whiteheads out I guess from my nose because I do get a lot of whiteheads there or like blackheads mm, but I do this after the steaming so my it's a really easy to get out then I'm not using a lot of pressure I am using a little bit of pressure but it's not to the point where I'm like really damaging my skin you know what I mean okay guys right now I'm just um tweezing my hair uh, tweezing my eyebrow hair I mean can you guys believe that I've never, never, never gotten my eye eyebrows done professionally? Like, never. I never trust anyone with my eyebrows. I never trusted anyone with my hair as well until recently. And I regret that big time. So I'm not doing that either anymore. But with my eyebrows, I've just been shaping them myself, trimming them myself. I like how they turn out. Sometimes I over pluck and over trim. But yeah, that's my own fault then, you know, there's no one else to blame. So I'm okay with that. But yeah, I'm happy with the way my eyebrows look. I know they're not perfect, but yeah. Now, I'm going to be shaving my face. This, guys, be careful with this. I only do this once in two or three weeks, depending on how much hair that I have on my face. I also just recently, I mean, I've been doing this for almost a year now because I saw a lot of TikToks a year ago about it being really good and your makeup looking really smooth and they're completely right. Your skincare, your skin penetrates the skincare better like this and also your makeup looks flawless because you don't have all the hair on your face. So basically what I do is use an oil or a serum and uh, put it on my face and then I start kind of lightly shaving I guess um, but again I only use this I only do this like once two weeks or once every three weeks depending on how much hair I have this one was not a lot actually I only did it for the sake of this video uh, I didn't have a lot of hair here but you can still get the message and you can still see how I do it. I'm very careful with this because I have cut myself many times doing this. So now I'm kind of used to it. Can you guys just see how much it just kind of clears the, I don't know, it just clears the surface. And 
till now I have had no problem with it guys it is important to know that you should use a new blade every time because before I didn't do that before I used to use the same blade like multiple times and that gate caused a lot of breakouts but then I searched it up and they said don't use the same blade twice because it does have a lot of bacteria in it from your previous hair and it can clog up your pores, it can give you acne. So that did happen a few times before when I used the same blade multiple times. But these days I only use this blade like once and then I throw it away and use another one. This razor that I have is, um, I'm not sure, I will link it down below but it's from bull.com and it's actually a reusable uh the handle is re the handle is reusable reusable i'm so sorry but the blade you can replace every time so it comes with like 10 blades it's a really good product actually i really like it okay after shaving my face i do wash it again with the cleanser because that's also very important you have to cleanse your face again after shaving uh and i do that after that i'm just going to be using this doctor serum that i recently got uh i've been actually really enjoying the whole doctor line it's been really good to my skin till now I haven't used it enough to give you guys my full honest review to be honest I've been using it for a few weeks now and I've been really liking it I feel like my skin has been really liking it as well uh, so I'm very positive about this so there I'm just using the ampule slash serum now I'm just using the Dr. Lotion it's very lightweight guys but it actually really does moisturize I was before in the beginning I was quite skeptical about it I thought it was not going to be moisturizing enough for my skin but it's actually very good it's very lightweight but still moisturizes the skin and gives you the beautiful glow as you guys can see there in the morning I also really like to massage my face like that and by the way guys, after the shaving part, now it's my daily morning routine, so AM routine. I don't use a serum all the time, but when I feel like it, I do use it in the morning as well. So the serum and now the moisturizer, and I also like to massage my face. As you guys can see, it debuffs everything. I'm very red right now. <laughs> And of course, the most important part about the AM routine is the sunscreen. Guys, even if you don't use a moisturizer or even if you don't wash your face in the morning with uh, the cleanser, just wash your face with water and use sunscreen. At least do that. That's the least that you can do in the AM. I know not a lot of people have enough time to do be doing like 10 step skincare routine. I know that. That's why I would suggest if you don't have a lot of time, skip the cleanser, skip the moisturizer. I mean, if you have dry skin, use the moisturizer as well. But if you don't have uh, enough time and if your skin is not that dry, just wash your face with water and use the sunscreen, guys. Please. So, so that was kind of my AM and like my weekly skincare routine. Again, guys, the shaving part, be careful with that. Do it at your own risk and just listen to what i said don't use the razor like, like twice or like no just don't reuse the razor at all just use it once and throw it away and also only shave your face like once every two or three weeks that i would suggest now let's head over to my uh, pm routine so pm routine of course i have makeup on the whole day the makeup has to come off i do double cleansing so the double cleansing I do first with this uh, doctor cleanser. This is an oil-based cleanser. I first take off my makeup with that. Uh, I massage my face really gently, but still taking off everything. This cleanser I actually really enjoy. I really enjoy it. It's a very good cleanser. It takes off all my makeup. I, I mean, all the Korean oil-based cleanser are really nice. I really enjoy the Ionic one as well, and also the Beauty of Joseon one. But this one also does a great job. I do that. After that, I uh, cleanse my face with water. 
And then I go again with another cleanser. So the Dr. Cleanser that I also use in the AM routine, I use that again to cleanse my face. Now, after that, I use this uh, Paula's Choice BHA toner. Um, this toner I don't use every day, guys. And I, if, if you're new to BHA toners or like exfoliates, um, I would suggest you guys to use it only once or twice a week in the beginning and then slowly build it up. I started using this quite a long time ago, but then I stopped using it and again, now I'm using it again. Uh, I use this only two or three times a week depending on how my skin is feeling that day For example today. I don't have a lot of makeup on so I won't be using that cleanser or like I mean I won't be using that toner But for example on days where I have like a full face of makeup on I do like using that extra Cleanse or like that extra exfoliation from this toner and I really enjoy it after that I'm using the same serum that I used in the morning the doctor one After the serum, I have my lotion, so the moisturizer. And this is what I don't do in the AM routine, which is an eye cream. Guys, I started using eye cream like a year ago, I guess. Not a year ago, a few months ago, but it's been quite a long time, I guess. I don't know if it's been a year, but I've been using it for a quite long time now. And to be honest, I thought before that I didn't need an eye cream. And if you're quite young, you don't need it. You don't need it. For example, if you're a teenager watching this, if you're in your like late teens watching this you don't really need it no but since i started my early 20s or like let's say say mid 20s ugh. and after that at last of course our trustworthy vaseline and that's my nighttime skincare routine but yeah guys that was my skincare routine and again this is what works for my skin this is what I've been doing for my skin and it's been doing great for my skin. I've been really happy with the results. I've been really happy with my skin looks recently. Um, so these products I would definitely recommend to you guys. Again guys, like proceed with your own research don't just believe everything I say or don't just use everything I use because it might not work for you. It might not work for you, uh, it has been working great for me of course, but it might not work for you. My skin has never been very problematic, my skin has never been really with... Uh, I never really had a lot of troubles with my skin, so that's why it's easy for me to recommend you guys things. One tip I would also give you guys is that um, keep your skincare simple or like don't switch up skincare too much. For me, I use one skin line or one skincare line for a certain type of period. For example, now I'm using the whole Dokdo line from Round Lab. But before this, I was using the Cosarex line with my whole heart. I was using the Cosarex toner, I was using the Cosarex cleanser, I was using the Cosarex moisturizer, the snail mucilin, the essence. So I like to use one skincare line and I like to use the whole skincare line of that specific brand because then I feel like I'm getting the most, I guess, value out of it and I can judge the skincare products better. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, guys, I'm so sorry for the delay of this video. It's been just so busy. Like, I've been so busy with my life. And tomorrow, I'm actually going to the Buddhist temple. By the time you guys see this, I would have already returned. So I'm actually really just focusing on that. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm like so happy that I'm finally doing what I want. And that I'm putting God above everyone and everything. 
I feel like God has gotten, got really big plans for me and whatever comes my way, comes my way. And if you're not supposed to be in my way, God will kick you out. <laughs> That's just how I feel at the moment. I'm not taking anything too personally these days. People come and go, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm also trying to keep the relationship between me and God very stable. Even though my love life right now is... I want to thank you all for all the love and support again. I'm so grateful. I hope you guys keep supporting me. And I will do a updated makeup routine soon as well. But yeah, skincare routine was the winner. So of course, I had to put that out first. I had to listen to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions regarding skincare or anything else, just put it down in the comments down below. I will try to reply as soon as I can. I hope you guys stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next one. Love you.